Hey, Shalom. Giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Brock to you hopefully elect out there, man. And, um, you know, just back through the spirit and power will be held by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord's will, um, you know, to edify and uplift the hopefully elect, man, you know, um, to whom this may concern, man, you know, because, again, you know, just, um, you know, just more meditation and thoughts, man. Uh, this is pretty much going to be like a, like a spiritual rant, so to say. Um, because again, man, it's just like how much longer we got to deal with this, you know. And you know, I know brothers feel the same way. Um, as far as you know, just because it just seems like. Things are getting heavier and heavier, man, but, you know, on the bright side of it, um, you know, um, on the bright side of it, you know, because, again, Satan, man, he's coming with the attacks, you know, um, but again, on the bright side of it, um, I feel that this is happening because, you know, being that this is the year of the turn up, this is the year Yahweh Bashimel Shah is going to turn up, man. You know, um, and you know, Esau, man, hey, he's moving on the left hand, you know. Um, he's, he's, uh, you know, he, 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 he's working. And with that being said, as we know, or as we should know, because when Esau, when the devil makes his hand on the left, when he makes his, his move on the left hand, the Lord is going to exalt the right hand. You see, he's going to exalt the right hand, man. And with that includes brothers getting spiritual powers, you know, because one thing about it, man, you know, I'm, and again, I know when I speak about myself, I'm speaking on behalf of other brothers as well, because like I said, I just, I, I know that brothers feel the same way to some extent, <laughs> because like I said, man, it's just the fact that, you know, Jake, man, uh, specifically our people, um, you know, and the thing, you know, I, I can't wait for the Lord to, I can't wait for Yahweh Shemel Shah to, to uh, pretty much say that's it. You know, I can't, I can't wait for the Lord to just, just, you know, shut this thing down, man. You know, because I'm just to a point where I'm, I'm sick of Jake, man. I'm so sick of Jake. You know, I'm so sick of Jake. I'm fed up with Jake, man. You know. Because, you know, it'd be our own people for the most part. Yeah, Esau, you know, he oppresses us on all sides. But Jake, man, Jake, man, as the scriptures say, they surpass the deeds of the wicked, man. So Jake, man, they, they're just, they, they, they got to be put down, man. They have to, they have to be put down, you know, because that's the only remedy for them at this point, you know. And, hey, this is one of those things I was just meditating on, man. It's just like Lord's will, Abaratazah, man. I get that power, you know, as well as other brothers, man. <clears throat> Lord's will we get that power, man, because, hey, if, this, if the Lord permits, man, if it be the word of the Lord, I'm going to show out for you, how about Shemel Shai, you know, I'm, I'm going to turn up for you, how about Shemel Shai, man, you know, because all things are going to be done for the glorification of you, how about Shemel Shai, anyways, you know, so, hey, Lord's will I get that power, man, I'm going to show out for the Lord, man. You know, and I pray that the Lord uses me in that day because, hey, the scripture is going to how the Lord, man, when it comes to, to, to brothers, man, all right, the hopeful elect men, um, the Lord's going to use us to execute vengeance out here. You know, the scriptures talk about how we are the Lord. We, he's going to use us as his, uh, his battle axe, you know, his weapons of war, you know, and hey, I, I believe, again, you know, the Lord's going to use some of the brothers when they get that power to, to execute judgment on the two thirds, man. You know, because, hey, it, for the most part, it'd be our own people giving us all type of hell, man. It'd be our own people, man. You know, so like I said, I believe that Jake, man, uh, uh, I believe that brothers, when some brothers get that power, man, they're going to, you know, be laying some of these these two thirds down, man. You know, going to take it gonna take some of these two-thirds out like i said i hope that a hey, 
you know the lord used me in that day because it's just in my spirit man i just i'm so i'm so fed up man i'm so sick of this place i'm so sick of these people i'm so fed up with jake man you know i'm so sick of these women you know like i said man hey lord's will I'll, hey the, if the if the lord permits i'm he uses me hey i'm gonna show off for the lord but i'm gonna get this real quick in second uh, i'm sorry jeremiah chapter 16 verse 16 because right now we're in the time of uh well i'm gonna just read it second edge oh, i'm sorry it's locking, man my mind is just, is just vexation man that's you know i'm you know just vexed so forgive me but i'm jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16 it says behold i was sent for many fishers say if you how about your mouth shy and they shall fish them <laughs> so you see because right now we're in the time of um uh uh, uh um again the gathering of the elect all right again because that's you know ultimately um aside from the fact that we're trying to work at our own salvation um aside from that you know doing these videos and you know uh um you know doing these videos and whatnot is to lord's will feed the flock because the lord said if you love me feed my lambs feed my sheep right feed my flock you see so again as far as these videos and like i said aside from you know working out our own salvation um hey again um these videos they are they're 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 to, to to edify the elect you know um and again you know this is what this is all about man you know the the, the house of david being sealed uh being the the, the tabernacles of david being uh rebuilt you see which again consists of the hopefully elect all right you see, so, you know, that's what we're doing right now, man. Through the spirit and power of your how about your mouth shy. All right. You know, where we're, we're gathering the elect. We're waking up and sealing the elect. All right. So this is the time that we're in. And again, because this time it's not, you know, brothers is not going to be out there on the highways and byways forever. All right. These videos, they're not going to be going up forever. All right. And we're coming into the time now when the Lord, he's, he's, uh, uh, uh you know, he's going to, like I said, it's going to be it, man. The Lord's not going to do no more talking. All right. He's going to shut the mouths of his prophets. All right. And hey, you know, the time's going to come when the Lord's going to say that that's it. Enough is enough. No more talking. All right. And he's just going to pour out judgment out here. And that's what I was saying earlier, man. I, I can't wait for the Lord to close this ministry up. You know, I, I just can't wait because Jake, man, they, they don't want to listen. Jake, man. You, and you see, because, you know, I said this before, man, you know. It's one thing knowing certain things like I, I often use the example going into the prophecy where it talks about how two thirds is going to be cut off. All right. You know, because when we first come into the truth, you know, for some of us or a lot of us, um, you know, we learn about that. And it's just like, OK, two thirds are going to be cut off. And, you know, the Lord set it up to where the Lord uh, two thirds are going to be cut off and they're going to die. All right. But as you grow in understanding as you grow as we grow in wisdom not as an understanding we see why two-thirds have to be put down man all right the lord gives us the wisdom not as an understanding on on a lot of these scriptures man uh, and the, the, these precepts and whatnot man the lord you know we we the lord gives us that understanding because again we see why two-thirds have they, they gotta go they have to go man you know because these people are to the to, quite frankly they're to the point of no return you know they're to the point of no return man you see so like i said the only remedy for them is to be put down man you see and, and hey the time is going to hey because as i just read here hey we're in the fishing season all right <laughs> everyone that needs to receive this word they're going to get it all right they're going to receive it because the scripture is going to how this truth it attracts the good fish and the bad fish so to say all right you know so hey whether you receive this word or not one way or the other you heard this word all right and you know whether it be to salvation or whether it be to condemnation all right hey one way or the other you heard this word you heard this truth all right and the time's going to come when hey like i said you know um um i'm gonna read this one more time it says behold i was sent for many fishers saith the lord and they shall fish them and after will i send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks now ultimately this is going into um you know when the men of the lord get those you know when we're changed in the twinkling of an eye all right and we get those uh uh uh, uh 
indestructible bodies, all right? You know, the Lord's pretty much going to send us out to fetch these different elites from these different bunkers, you know, because when the nuclear destruction takes place, these elites, they're going to, of course, you know, try to run and escape and whatnot. They're going to go into their different bunkers, right? Underground bunkers, all right? You know, satellite space stations in the mountains and the hills or whatever they're, you know, whatever the case may be. And the Lord's going to send for the men of the Lord to, to, to fetch him out. You see, but um, that's ultimately what this is going into. But like I said, um, hey, the time's going to come even before that takes place. You see, even before that takes place. Um, hey, like I said, the Lord's going to put or here. He's going to use us, as I mentioned. We're going to be his battle uh, battle axes. We're going to be his weapons of war. The, the Lord's going to use some of the men of the Lord. To, to, you know, wreak havoc out here You know, through that spiritual power, man And some of you two-thirds, man You know, you're going to get caught up in that judgment You're going to get caught up in that You see, because this is going to be a time period When, um, um, you know The persecution of the men of the Lord You know, people are going to be after us Two-thirds, hey, they're going to be trying to put hands on us You know So, you know some of the some of the two thirds, man, they're gonna try to cross that line, and hey, you know, they, <laughs> they're gonna end up back in the spiritual realm, you know. <laughs> you see, but you know, just the point being that, hey, the Lord, man, He's gonna, like I said, right now we're fishing, all right, we're fishers of men, but the time is gonna come where we're gonna be hunters, man, all right. And like I said, you know, some of us are gonna get that spiritual power, man, and like I said, I pray to the Lord, Abarazzah, man, I be one of those men. I'm going to show off for the Lord, man, because, again, I'm tired of these people. I'm tired of two-thirds, man. You know, I'm tired of these two-thirds. I'm sick of these people, man. You know, and I pray that the Lord puts it on my spirit to, to you know, just, just, just you know, wreak havoc out here, man. You know, because, hey, Jake, man, they're, 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 they're hella disrespectful, you know. Jake is hella disrespectful, you know. I was talking to a, uh, one of the brothers, man, from the camp. A couple of weeks ago, you know, because, you know, after the camp, man, we were uh, uh, chilling, chilling and whatnot. We were walking. And this is something with our people, man, Jake, man, you know, because I, I noticed it, you know, and we were talking about it. But Jake. And actually, there's a separate in, uh, uh, incident that just happened last week. But speaking on this incident that took place um, um, and it wasn't, you know, it's no big deal or nothing like that, but. Just you know, you just notice certain things through the spirit. You know, you you know, you know, you notice certain things, right? So you know, we were, you know, all of us, all the brothers, we were walking and whatnot. And you know, Jake, because you know, Jake, man, um, you know, you're walking down the street, right? And then Jake's coming in the opposite direction, right? You know, and, and Jake is just so filled with pride, man, and they're so disrespectful, right? You know, hey. You see, that's another thing, man. Just, just the fact that you know we got to take the low on the side, man. You know, we, you know, we, it's just better just to turn the other cheek, all right? Because Jake, man, you, you know, you could be walking, right? And Jake, they won't move out the way for you, man. You know, Jake, they won't move out the way for you. You know, you know, if, if the spirit wasn't on us, man, to so just you know, like I said, just take the other cheek and just be humble or whatnot, then hey, you know, we bump, you know, bump right into each other, man, and. You know, the Lord knows what what would happen. Cause Jake, that's you know one thing about Jake. They looking for trouble. You know, they they want a, a fight or, or something. To, they want something to go down. They want the drama. You know, and that happened a, a few weeks ago with the with the big bro man. And I peeped it. I noticed it. You know, cause the bro, you know, he just you know moved out the way. He just stepped aside. Cause the Jake man, you know, you know how Jake is, man. Even when you try, you know, you make contact, it's it's like a competition with Jake. It's like a thing with Jake. You know. Uh, um, you know, when you make eye contact with Jake, man, you know, and, and it's like with Jake, man, you know, if if you look away first, then you know you you you're basically you know you you're, you're a punk or whatever, you know. That's that's how Jake, man, Jake, you know. And like I said, me and the brother, we were talking about these things, you know. And um, hey, um, you know, cause hey, shit, these 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 women do it too, you know. Cause these women, man, they're they'll straight up. Square up with you, man. You know, they're they're they all square up with you, man. You know, and like I said, man, it's just like, man, 
how much longer we got to deal with these 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 knuckleheads, man? How how much how much more we got to deal with these useless eaters, man? Because speaking on the incident that took place last week, again after the camp, you know, me and the brothers, man, you know, we were all chopping it up or whatever, man, you know, enjoying each other's company and whatnot. Because you know, at the end of the day, when it comes to the brotherhood, that's all we got, man. You know, this is this that's all we got. You know, and I'm extremely grateful. The how about you, I put it on the spirit of these brothers to you know pretty much accept me in and you know um you know just just be amongst you know their their company and whatnot because hey this again when it comes to the brother this 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 is all we got man you know this is all we got i just texted brothers what yesterday about how hey um you know i can't wait to you know i can't wait to see y'all this week man I, i'm so i'm so fucking tired of this place i can't wait to see the brothers this week man and that's how it is every week man it just you know as soon as we leave camp it's just like man damn you know, I can't, you know, I can't wait to, you know, got to wait another six, seven days to see the brothers again, man, it's like shit, man, because again, this, you know, this is all we got, you know, but going uh, uh, about this incident that took place last week, man, just this past Saturday, and again, like I said, it's no big deal, but like I said, you, you know, you just notice certain things, and it's just like, damn, Jake is disrespectful as all hell, because like I said, you know, me and the brothers, we were enjoying each other's company, you know, we had some food or whatnot, one of the brothers, man, he had his food, um, you know, placed on the ground, um, not not even in the middle, you know, it wasn't in no one's way or anything, you know, um, you know, he placed it up against the wall and whatnot, you know, and we were just talking, we were just chilling and whatnot, and you had some other Jakes come by, you know, just, just basically invade our space, right, and step on the brother's food, man, and the Jake didn't even, he didn't apologize, he didn't even acknowledge it, he just, like we weren't, like we weren't even there, and, you know, and it's just like, man, the hell with these niggas, man, you know, the hell with these niggas. And it, like I said, man, it's just like, man, you know, like I said, man, it's just the fact that we got to take the low, man. We just got to we, we, we got to eat this shit. You know, we got to deal with this shit. But little does it little does he know he just he just condemned himself, man. He just cursed himself, man. The Lord has it out for that nigga, man. And he don't even know it. He just marked himself because that's one thing when you come across a man of the Lord. Hey, you better be careful, man, you know. You better be careful because one way or the other you're going to be marked all right one way or the other you're going to be marked we all being marked all right but if you come across a man of the lord man and you better come correct you know you better come correct and like i said that jake he just he just marked himself for death all right and now he has death angels lurking over him and it's just a matter of time before the lord gives a green light you know but like i said it's just small stuff like that man jake jake is just disrespectful man you know Jake is just all out disrespectful. And I, I'm tired of these niggas, man. And I, like I said, I can't wait for the Lord to, if I be one of those men, Lord's will, I get that power, man. I'm going to show out for the Lord, man. You know, and when the time comes for, you know, hunting season, all right, when the Lord puts that spirit on us, hey, it's, it's game over. Because I ain't doing no talking with these people, man. I ain't doing no talking with these people, you know. Now the spirit is going to, you know, be on brothers to know whether or not, you know, uh, uh, um, that, that spirit of discernment to know whether, you know, you might come across a Jake. Um, and like I said, just, you know, assessing through the spirit, you'll pretty much be able to tell whether he's a, a two third or not, you know, but when it comes to these two thirds, the hell with them. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't talking with these niggas, man. The hell with these two thirds, man. The hell with these people, man. Like I said, I can't wait, man. And even if I don't get the power, a Lord's will, I see other brothers get the power and a, you know, show out for the Lord, man. Lord's will. You know, but again, it's just the fact that, you know, how much, how, you know, how much longer we got to deal with this shit? How, how much longer we got to tolerate these jigs, man? You know, hell, I'll be praying, Lord, man, you know, like it's because, you know, the hell with us, man. It ain't about us. It's, it's just like, Lord, how much longer are you going to tolerate this disrespect? You know, because the Lord, we know he's long suffering. He's very patient. But hey, it's just like, Lord, how much longer are you going to sit back and let these people just just walk around, walk around here with absolutely no fear in me? All right, these people they don't fear the Lord, man, and it's like, how much longer is the Lord gonna sit back and t and, t and just 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 let this be so, you know? When is the Lord gonna get His respect? Because you know we want our respect and everything like that, but hey, Yahusha He has to get His first, you know. So it's like, when is the Lord gonna, you know, when is the Lord gonna put His when is he, when is He gonna put respect on His name, man? When He's gonna make these people to fear Him? It's like, when is the Lord gonna do all these things, man? You know? Um, but I'm gonna read this in Psalm chapter one, verse um, 
verse 1, it says, O Yahweh, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy in thy neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, for I am weak, O Yahweh. Heal me, for my bones are vexed. And you see, listen, man, again, a hey, only the spirit, only the, the, the saints, because again, uh pertaining to the elect, all right, or you know, that the house of David, all right. You see, hey, this the, we're, we're coming in, we're coming in that same spirit, man. We're tired, man. We're vexed, you know. We're vexed and oppressed on all sides, and it's just like, Lord, how much longer we gotta deal with this shit? How much long? How much longer is is the Lord gonna suffer us in this place, man? You know. Now you know we know we we're paying for, our, you know, the sins of our past lives and whatnot. But it's like, Lord, how much longer, man? It's just like, damn, you know, we're, we're vexed, man. You know, we are vexed. We're tired, you know. It says, my soul is also sore vexed, but thou, O Yahweh, how long? So you see, you know, how long, O Lord, man? And that's the question that, hey, for the most part, all the men of the Lord had it, you know? It's like, how much longer, man? How, how much longer are we going to be in this position? How much longer we got to deal with this shit, man? You know? Matter of fact, when you jump down, verse, jump down to verse 6, it says, I am weary with my groaning. All the night make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with tears. You see, man. So it's like you know, it's just it's, you know, it's to the point that you know, hey, you know, it's just you know, you get so vexed sometimes. It's just like, man, you know, you might shed some tears, man. You know, sometimes you can't help it. You know, sometimes it, you know the tears come out, you start crying, which is not wrong with that, because this world teaches you that real men don't cry. Listen, all right, Yahweh Shah, he he cried, all right. There's nothing wrong with a man crying, man, you know. But, um, you know, like I said, it gets to that point where, hey, you know, you start shedding some tears, man, you know. Hey, it's, it's to the point now that, you know, we're so vexed and we're so tired, man. We're so frustrated. We're so fed up that we don't we don't even have the strength to cry. We don't even have the tears to cry because that's how tired we are, man. That's how vexed we are. That's how finished we are. You know, and if it wasn't for the spirit of your Yahweh Shemal Shai being in us, then, hey, we won't, man, listen, man, we won't be able to do it. We won't be able to do it, man. You know, we, 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 we can't do it on our own, man. You know, but I'm going to read verse uh, seven. It says, mine eye is consumed because of grief. It waxed old because of all mine enemies. So you see, man, you know, hey, like I said, we're tired of these damn people, man. The hell with these people. The hell with these people, man. And the hell with this place. All right. And that goes for them all. Esau, the other nations, two thirds, these women. That goes for all you people, man. We're tired of you people. You know, matter of fact, I'm going to get in Micah, Micah chapter 7 and verse 10. Because, hey, man, you you women, hey, a lot of, a lot of you women uh, play uh, um, a major part in, in um, you know, when it comes to uh, a lot of afflictions that brothers deal with. A lot of you women play, uh, 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 you know, a lot, a lot of you women have a lot to do with that, man. You know, as far as what brothers got to deal with, what brothers, what brothers is going through, you know, a lot of you women, man, hey, and that's why I'm going to read this here, because, like I said, our people, man, they don't look at us as men of the Lord, you know, and that damn goes, you can best believe that, you know, that damn sure, uh, for damn sure, goes for, for, for the, you know, uh, 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 you know, the Israelite woman, they don't, you know, they don't look at us as men of the Lord, right, you know, um, I'm going to read this in Micah chapter 7, verse 10. It says, Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is thy Lord? Where is the Lord thy power? So you see, you see, man, you know, again, hey, these women, they don't look at us like, as men of the Lord. Because look at us. A lot of us, you know, you know, just, just, you know, just look at us, man. You know, you, you know, you brothers. For you brothers, you know what you're going through. You you know your own situation. All right? Just look at us, man. You know? And being that these women, man, they're put on a pedestal, right? You know, who are we to them? Who are we? You know? And, and you know, we're trying to tell them, uh, uh, teach them, tell them about your how about Shema was shy and to get them to order and all these other things. Listen, man, they don't, they don't believe. I hear brothers talk about, you know, sisters that are in the truth. And just to me personally... You know, just, you know, my vain thoughts, man. I don't I don't think there's no such thing as a woman in the truth. 
All right. To me, there's no such thing as a woman in the truth. Now, you do have women that are trying to do the right thing or whatnot. But as far as women in the truth, I don't think that exists. You know, because, you know, um, you know, you got a woman, man. She says she's down for you. She says she loves you and all these other things. Hey, the ultimate test. Right. You know, a, a quiz her, you know, she really loves you. Hey, tell her, go, tell her to go fetch you another wife, you know. You know, and watch how her countenance changes real quick. Watch how her attitude, her mood switches up real quick. You know, you tell her to go fetch you another wife, you know. So you see, men on this side, man, these women, they don't love us, man. You know, like I said, a lot of fictions that brothers deal with, a lot of it has a, a do, you know, some way, shape, form, or fashion. It comes from a woman, you know. But, hey, that time's going to come with, hey, again, the Lord's going to make us hunters. He's going to put that spirit on us. He's going to put that spirit on brothers, man. And a lot of you women, the majority of you women are going to get turned away. A majority of you women are going to get dealt with. You see, man? So, I'm going to read this again, man. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is Yahweh thy power? Mine eye shall behold her. Now she shall be trodden down as the mire of the streets. So, you say, hey, man, the Lord's not playing games with you people, especially you women. All right? And the day's going to come when, hey, all you you women that have done the men of the Lord wrong, hey, man, the time's going to come when, hey, we're going to see you people, we're going to see you women get trodden down like, sh man, y'all going to get treated like shit out here, man. Y'all going to get stepped on like dirt out here, man. You see, man? So I can't wait for this to happen, man. I can't wait. I man, I can't wait, man. You know, all those that done us wrong, all the women that turned us down and played with our hearts and emotions and, you know, just, just people, all these people that done us wrong in general, man, hey, the time is going to come when, hey, they're going to see, they, 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 they going to see it, man, all right, because what is that, in Isaiah, the 60th chapter goes into how the, 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 the glory of the Lord shall be seen in us, all right, and it tells you in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, how, um, in that day, man, it's going to be made known who the men of the Lord are, it's going to be made known who the Lord is dealing with, because there's going to be a different spirit on the men of the Lord when all hell breaks loose out here and it's all said and done. There's going to be a different spirit on the men of the Lord, man. You see, and people already sense it now. People already see it now. Be you know, believe it or not, man. You know, people already see there's something different about us now. You know? So, hey, man, this is going to be so, man. Listen, man, I can't wait. I can't wait. Abba Ratazah, you know, I'll be one of those men. And you brothers, you sincere brothers, man, our time is coming, man. Because, you know, I'm sick of these people, man. I'm, I'm so sick of dealing with Jake. I'm so sick of these people, man. I'm sick of this shit, you know. And again, the question being, how, how much longer, you know? How much longer? But I'm going to read this in Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Because, again, man, we just, we just can't catch a break in this place, man. We, we can't get a break. The so-called black, Hispanic, Native American Indian man cannot get a break in this place. It's one thing after another. But I'm going to read this in Ecclesiastes 4 and 1. It says, So I returned and considered all the oppressions that are done under the sun. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed. So, you see, like I said, or like I read, you know, with King David, man, you know, you know, uh, uh, how to go basically, you know, crying on the bed, crying on the couch. It's just, you know, this shit hurts. It hurts like hell, man. Oppressed on all sides, man. You know, again, if it's not one thing, it's another, you know, if it's not your woman, it's, it's, it's bills, you know, if it's not one thing, it's another, man. It's just we're oppressed on our, all sides, man, you know, but it says, and they had no comforter and on the side of their oppressors, there was power, but they had no comforter. You see, man, so because, you know, listen, man, you know, we don't have no, no, you know, all odds are stacked against us in this in this society, man. For the Israelite man, all odds are stacked against us. You know? But nevertheless, man, you know, just being oppressed on all sides, man. Being sore vexed. Man, if I'm gonna get that, man. Was that first Peter or second Peter? Second Peter chapter two. Yeah. Second Peter chapter two. Verse seven, it says, and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. And you see again, 
You know, hey, we're coming in the spirit of Lot. All right. You know, because, again, all you people, again, you know, a good example. All these people talk about right now is this whole shit with uh, Will Smith and, and Chris Rock. You know, Jake, they, they just be talking about bullshit in general, man. They talk about bullshit in general, you know. And all this shit with, the, you know, what the Biden administration is trying to come out with, you know, and just this whole thing with the LGBT. It's just like all these other things, man. We're we're, we're vexed with the, with the conversation, man. We're, 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 we're tired, man. We're tired. We're vexed. Our spirit is sore vexed, as King David said, man. We are sorely vexed, you know. And, hey, as it's good to say, um, better to be in the house of mourning than to be in the house of feasting. Or roughly paraphrasing it. You see, because all those that are crying and sighing to the Lord, hey, those are going to be the ones to be delivered. Crying and sighing for their filthy abominations and the wickedness that's going on, those are going to be the ones that get delivered. You see, man? And again, you know, only the the, 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 the saints, man, you know, are coming in that spirit. Uh, again, we're tired, man. We're, 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 we're vexed every single day from the time that we wake up, from the time we go to sleep. We're vexed. And like I said, man, it's to the point, if it wasn't for the spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shabbat, we would not be able to do this, man. We wouldn't, we we would have been out a long time ago, you know. But, hey, again, because it ain't about us, you know. Um, the spirit of the Lord that's in us, because somebody has to do this work, you know. Somebody has to do the, do the work. So it's the spirit of the Lord that keeps us going, man. You know, it, it keeps us going, you know. And Barak, I you how about El Shabbat for that. Because, again, man, listen, you know, if not... We'd be done, man. We'd be completely through, you know. But I'm going to read on. It says, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. So you see, not only not only the filthy conversations, right, but their filthy, wicked deeds, man, their acts, their works. You see, and again, hey, we, we see that today, man, not more than ever, man. You know, like I said, you know, we, we, you know, we see what's going on out here, man. The, the wicked, unlawful deeds of these wicked ass people, man. You know, from what we got to hear to what we got to see to what we got to witness. It's just, it's nothing but vexation on all sides, man. It's, it's just vexation on all sides, man. We need deliverance. We need deliverance, man. The Lord has to, man, he has to come get us, man. The Lord has to come get us, you know. Because, hey, if the Lord didn't shorten the time up, then, hey, the elect would be deceived, man. The, even the very elect would get taken. The righteous would get taken. You see? You know? Because, again, if the Lord had us in his place, the whole for the elect, if he had us in his place another 100 years, man, 200 years, you know, if the Lord didn't shorten the days up, even the, 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 the righteous would eventually get consumed. You know, so we have to be delivered, man. We have to be delivered. But yeah, man, I was in on that, man. Like I said, man, just, you know, kind of like, just like a, a a spiritual rant, so to say, man. You know, and just being vexed, man. We're, you know, we're tired of this place, man. We're tired, man. And it's just like, how much longer? I can't wait for the Lord, man. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Abaratazah. The Lord gives me that power, man. I'm going to show off for the Lord, man. And a lot of you jakes, and a lot of you jakes, I ain't saying shit to you. I ain't saying, I ain't saying nothing to you, man. Y'all going to get, y'all going to get it. Y'all going to get yours, man. Hey, like the brother be saying, hey, you know, some, some brothers, man, they're going to be bright burns out here, man. They're going to be bright burning, bright, uh, bright burning people out here, man. You know, so, hey, you, you people, man, hey, y'all in that day. If I get that power, man, y'all better stay the hell out of my way. You know? Because y'all going to get dealt with, man. You know, but hey, man, I'm going to end it up there. Hopefully this is edifying. Uh, to whom this may concern, you know? Because that's another thing, man, you know? Um, you know, I don't know who, you know, watches the videos or whatnot, but um, believe it or not, man, hey, listen, we got more, we got more uh, secret admirers, secret followers, secret disciples we got more than the, what we know, all right? So, you know, um, as far as, like, views and likes and things of that nature, don't don't pay attention to that stuff because, you know, Esau, you know, and I've seen this personally, and, you know, I've done my own research on it personally, all right? 
But Esau, they play with the numbers, you know, to try to discourage us. All right. You know, so we got more secret dis uh, disciples and, and followers than we know it. You know, so again, to whom this may concern, you know, um, hopefully this has been edifying to you, you know, and if you're sincere, you know, and if you're of the elect, man, then may Yahweh Bashim El Shai, may he bless you and your family, your household, you know, and uh, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim El Shai and double honors to my teachers whom I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim El Shai, once again, Barak Thumb, peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect, whomever you are and wherever you're scattered abroad. And Lord's will, until next time, wa abad babal.